this kind of format is my worst nightmare. Hi guys, it's Sue. Welcome back. And today I'm doing a full face of Clarins. Now this was inspired by my two most recent purchases. And the one is an eyeshadow quad, which is a limited edition. It's from their summer collection and it's in the colors bronze gradation. And the second palette is a trio it is a blush a highlighter and a bronzer also from the summer collection now i've never tried a, a clarence eyeshadow palette so this is a first for me i have used one of their blushes in the past which i've really loved but i was really excited by the look of the eyeshadow palette because the ones that they have in their permanent range are all very, very red. They've got a lot of pinks and reds in them. And I've just come to the conclusion that I just can't wear those colors on my eyes. So this is a great compromise. When I saw this palette come out, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. Now they do say that it's formulated with some bamboo extract, which is going to make the formula very, very long wearing. So we're going to see about that. And then, of course, the Summer Oasis bronzing blush palette just looked really beautiful as well and I haven't tried one of their bronzers before so I thought this would be a good opportunity to test it out. So now on to the application. I've got on my foundation today I went in with the Clarins Skin Illusion Velvet. I'm in the shade 109C and I really like this foundation. It's definitely not for dry skinned ladies but it really complements my oily skin. It just gives a very very light coverage. So I really have been enjoying that one. have done a review on it which I will link down below in my Clarins playlist. And then just to top it off I've gone in with the Ever Matte Powder and um, this is in the shade 02. It is, they do say it's a mattifying shine control powder which I have never found it to be but because I have it in my stash I thought I would use it today. It's more like a finishing powder for me. It doesn't really absorb any excess oils or anything like that. And then we're going to start with the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to remind you what the shadows look like. So there is the quartet and I have swatched them for you as well so the top one you'll see the quite yellow gold shade then below it is a champagne-y kind of shade and then below it is a kind of bronzy greeny shade which I think is going to be my favorite and then below that is the matte brown so there's only one matte in this compact and the rest are shimmers so I'm going to start off with a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to apply a little bit of that matte shadow just to my crease area. I do have hooded lids so this will definitely just help to create a little bit of depth and definition on my eye. And at first glance the texture is really beautifully, it's going on very very smoothly, not powdery at all, there's no kick up when I put my brush in the pan and it really is giving me a beautiful blend there. It really is quite smooth. I do have quite crepey lids and so this is a dream come true when I find a matte eyeshadow that does that. So very impressed with that. I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that out so that there are no harsh lines and edges. But this is really a lovely matte and I'm quite happy with the color of it as well. It is leaning quite warm but it's not, I don't think it's too warm on my lids at all. Just make sure I've got some decent pigment there. It has blended out very well so I'm adding a little bit more because it's kind of blended almost too well. And then I think for the mobile lid, there's no contest. I have to go in with this greeny bronzy shade. It just looks really, really beautiful. And I'm going in with just a flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to apply this all over the lid. So just tapping it into the eyeshadow. There's not a lot of kickback with the matte, but this one there seems to be a tiny bit more. So to prevent fallout, I'm just going to gently pat that on to the mobile lid and it really is giving me a beautiful quite intense 
color. So, so far, so good. Really, really liking that. This is definitely one of my favorite colors probably in the whole world when it comes to clothes and makeup is this greeny khaki bronze. I just can't seem to get enough of it. I don't know why. It's in my DNA. <laughs> but it's just one of those colors that I just go mad for. So it really is, it's not too deep. It is giving me a lovely bit of shimmer. There is a tiny bit of fallout. So I'm just going to dust that off. But really is beautiful. Now, I think I'm going to go into the inner corner with that light kind of champagne shade. I don't think I'm going to touch on the yellow gold today. So just taking, I think I'm going to take my finger with this one, just see how it applies. And just dab a little bit onto the inner corner and see how that fares. It seems almost a little bit too creamy for the inner corner. So I think I am going to have to clean that up slightly because it is giving me quite a, <laughs> a wow effect on the inner corner. I'm actually going to take a little bit more and I'm just going to put it onto like the ball of my eye and just see if that gives, it really does give a beautiful iridescent. So these colors are quite subtle. I was a little bit worried about the subtlety of the palette, but I think what they lack in depth of color, they definitely make up for in the quality. So very pleased about that. That is looking good. And then I am going to go in onto the lower lid. I'm taking a pencil brush. Where is my... I haven't got the one that I want here. So I am going to use this one, which is a little bit fluffier than the one that I wanted. Taking a pencil brush, I'm going to dip, tap into the deep bronze. And I'm going to use that just to gently line the bottom with the lower lid. So this is the deepest shade in the compact. And it is just giving me a lovely bit of definition on the lower lid. So you could add a little bit of liner if you wanted to. But I think I'm going to leave it at that. I think it just looks very kind of un, undone. So really, really liking that. So I've just cleaned up the inner corner because it was uh, just looking a little bit cakey there. So note to self, not a good idea to use that light shade on the inner corner. And I'm going to go in with a couple of coats of mascara. And today I'm using the Clarins 4D Wonder Lash. I really, really like this one. It's an excellent high-end mascara. And so I'm going to add a couple of coats of this. So that's the mascara done. And now on to the blush and bronzing palette. This is just absolutely beautiful. Not sure if you can see the embossing from here. But this is, this kind of format is my worst nightmare. I never know quite how to use something where all the colors are kind of in here together. <laughs> so I have seen a tutorial on YouTube. I'm going to take a blush brush and I'm just going to kind of swirl it into everything. And making sure that where I've got the pink, I'm going to start on my cheek. And then I'm just going to go up in patting motions and it really is gorgeous it's giving me a beautiful some beautiful iridescence there just got a little bit of mascara on my cheek but mm, that really is a sun-kissed glow for you that really is just divine so obviously you could use each one of these individually if you're just very careful with how you apply it on the brush. I'm going to take a little bit of the pink, just dipping in with the corner of the brush. Just put a little bit of that on the cheek. It's not highly pigmented. Let's see if we can 
use a slightly smaller brush might get a little bit more out of it there we go but the bronzer is gorgeous it has got just a hint of shimmer and very much a sun-kissed glow going on here and I'm going in to finish off on my lips I am using the natural lip perfecter and this is in the shade number 17 maple so guys, that is a finished look. What are my final thoughts on the product? I think that the eyeshadows are beautiful. I think that the range of colors is beautifully subtle. I do like the matte that they've popped in there. And I think the shimmers are really beautiful quality as well. They're not intensely pigmented. Um, it is quite a, a subtle quad. So if you're looking for something a little bit deeper, you're probably going to be a little bit disappointed but I think for summer this is really beautiful you do have to be a little bit careful when applying the shimmers say to your inner corner or to your lower lid because there can be a little bit of fallout and it's a little bit difficult to clean up but I really do like the combination of colors and I think again if you want a subtle eye they're absolutely beautiful I think that my overall choice would be the blush and bronzer palette I just think that this is absolutely gorgeous it just gives a beautiful true kind of sun glow kiss to your skin it does have a little bit of iridescence but it's not something that's going to exacerbate texture it's not exacerbating my pores at all but it just gives a very kind of subtle very very sun kissed glow so I really like that. I think of the two palettes, that one is probably my favorite. So guys, let me know if you have used any of these products. I'd love to hear your feedback. Please leave me a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I am going to leave you with a link to my Clarins playlist. And I will see you next time. Ciao, ciao.